while I'm on Medicine Graduate Certificate Programme, I wanted to develop a programme that was really going to make a difference and be accessible for vets in practice. So the programme is set up in two modules. It's fully online. The first of the modules, you learn to think about information and learn how to process information and think about evidence-based practice. We're all surrounded by huge amounts of information. The problem these days is not dealing with information or finding information, it's learning how to process it and to pick out what's important and what's important to your patient. It doesn't matter that there are 600 publications relating to canine renal disease. What matters is what's going to make the difference to the dog that you're treating and how are you going to determine that. Hi, my name is Mary Gallagher and I'm involved in the Graduate Cert in Small Animal Medicine. My role is to run the online discussion groups which are comprised of up to six students where the topics that you're learning in the e-lectures and the readings that you're doing are integrated into your learning by discussion with your peers. We discuss set topics and they're all designed to involve you in your own learning and to drive your learning by interaction with your peers. We're very aware that people can be very hesitant to write online, particularly when they're not used to or haven't met the others in the group, but we can see that by providing some suitable exercises for your early development, very soon you're inter interacting very dynamically and thoroughly enjoying yourselves. There's a lot of interactive elements in the programme, so working with your colleagues, working with interactive material online. There are e-lectures that deliver information, but that's just the start. You'll be asked to think about cases, to think about, uh, think about papers, and to take that information and use that information. And that really, I think, is the essence of the programme. It's using information and using it in a practical way. As educational technologists, I support students on the Graduate Certificate in Small Animal Medicine with all aspects of online learning when it comes to teaching and assessment. Students will be provided with a full introduction to online learning during the course's induction programme. This will include a detailed introduction to learning online, as well as a run-through of the technologies that students use throughout the programme, all of which are accessible and easy to use. Here at UCD, we recognise that supporting online learners is crucial throughout their programme. Both myself and the team will be on hand to answer queries as they arise. The second module takes a much more extensive look at the body systems and takes a step-by-step -step look through what will be relevant to you and the new advances in different areas. And at the end you'll be asked to create a capstone project where you have to take one of your cases and think about its context, how you set about making the decisions you did or taking the decisions you did and how you treated that patient. Stand over that and defend it using the evidence that's out there in the literature. I think the course is probably really helpful to lots of different people, so not just people working in small practice sole charge as I was, but um, it was, when I did it there were people that were in mixed practice, there were people who were um, had been in small island practice for years, there were people who were on maternity leave, um, so there's a lot of different people that can really benefit from the course. For me it kind of made me a lot more interested in academia and I guess it kind of inspired me to go on to do my internship next year. So. so the aim is it's supposed to be a fun programme. I think that it's aimed to make you get interactive because that's the way people learn. People don't learn by looking at textbooks, sitting, wading through endless e-lectures. It's about you getting involved with the material that's put in front of you and using it in a practical fashion.